the Philippines' electricity sector, an in-depth analysis. Introduction The Philippines, an archipelago of over 7,000 islands, faces unique challenges and opportunities in its electricity sector. The country's geographical landscape, political and economic constraints, and diverse energy mix all play crucial roles in shaping its energy policies and infrastructure. This article delves into the various facets of the Philippines' electricity sector, including the government agencies involved, the different energy sources in the energy mix, the challenges and solutions in generation, transmission, distribution, and utilization, and the energy pricing policies in place. Additionally, it explores the role of electrical practitioners and end-users in combating electricity shortages and enhancing the resilience of the electricity infrastructure to natural disasters. Safety and property protection considerations are also discussed to ensure a comprehensive understanding of the sector. Geographical Landscape The Philippines' archipelagic nature presents significant challenges for its electricity sector. The country is divided into three main island groups, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Each region has its own electricity grid, with varying degrees of connectivity and reliability. Just recently, the Mindanao-Visayas Interconnection Project MVIP is now energized and operational. The three island power grids are integrated into one grid which allows better sharing and handling of energy demand on the island grids. The fragmented geography makes it difficult to establish a unified national grid, leading to regional disparities in electricity access and quality. The Philippine government is showing political will. And along with its attached agencies, interagency collaboration, public and private partnership, and including foreign investments, are realizing the energy security plan to improve the status quo for the whole country. The mountainous terrain and numerous islands also pose logistical challenges for the construction and maintenance of electricity infrastructure. Remote and rural areas often face difficulties in accessing reliable electricity due to the high costs and complexities involved in extending the grid to these locations. Political and Economic Constraints The political landscape of the Philippines has a direct impact on its electricity sector. The country has undergone several regulatory changes over the years, with varying degrees of success. The Electric Power Industry Reform Act EPIRA of 2001 was a landmark legislation aimed at restructuring the electricity sector to promote competition and attract private investment. However, the implementation of EPIRA has faced challenges, including regulatory inconsistencies and political interference. Economically, the Philippines is a developing country with a growing demand for electricity. The country's GDP growth has been robust, but this growth has not always translated into equitable access to electricity. High electricity prices and supply shortages remain persistent issues, particularly in rural and remote areas. Government Agencies Involved Several government agencies play key roles in the Philippines' electricity sector. 1. Department of Energy Doe the DOE is responsible for formulating and implementing energy policies and programs. It oversees the entire energy sector, including electricity generation, transmission, and distribution. 2. Energy Regulatory Commission ERC The ERC is an independent regulatory body tasked with ensuring fair competition and protecting consumer interests. It regulates electricity rates, monitors market behavior, and enforces compliance with industry standards. 3. National Electrification Administration NAV The NEA is responsible for promoting rural electrification and supporting electric cooperatives. It provides financial and technical assistance to improve electricity access in underserved areas. 4. National Power Corporation NPC The NPC is a government-owned corporation that operates power plants and manages the transmission grid. It also provides electricity to missionary areas that are not connected to the main grid. 5. National Transmission Corporation Transco Transco is responsible for the transmission of electricity from power plants to distribution utilities. It ensures the reliability and stability of the transmission network. Energy Sources in the Energy Mix The Philippines has a diverse energy mix, with various sources contributing to its electricity generation. 1. Coal. Coal is the dominant source of electricity in the Philippines, accounting for over 50% of the total generation. 
the country relies heavily on imported coal, which makes it vulnerable to global market fluctuations. 2. Natural gas. Natural gas is the second largest source of electricity, primarily sourced from the Malampaya gas field. The depletion of this field poses a significant challenge for the country's energy security. 3. Renewable energy. The Philippines has abundant renewable energy resources, including hydro, geothermal, wind, and solar. The government has implemented policies to promote renewable energy development, such as the Renewable Energy Act of 2008 and the feed-in tariff fit system. 4. All All base power plants provide a small portion of the country's electricity, mainly used for peaking and backup purposes. 5. Hydropower Hydropower is a significant source of renewable energy, particularly in Luzon and Mindanao. However, its potential is limited by seasonal variations and environmental concerns. 6. Geothermal the Philippines is one of the world's largest producers of geothermal energy, with several geothermal power plants in operation. Geothermal energy provides a stable and reliable source of electricity. 7. Wind and Solar Wind and solar energy are emerging sources of electricity, with several projects under development. The government aims to increase the share of these sources in the energy mix to reduce dependence on fossil fuels. Challenges and solutions in generation, transmission, distribution, and utilization. The Philippines' electricity sector faces several challenges across the generation, transmission, distribution, and utilization stages. 1. Generation. Challenge. The reliance on imported coal and the depletion of the Malampaya gas field pose risks to energy security. Solution. Diversifying the energy mix by increasing the share of renewable energy sources and exploring new natural gas fields can enhance energy security. Safety and property protection. Implementing stringent safety protocols in power plants to prevent accidents and ensure the protection of property is crucial. Regular maintenance and safety audits can help identify and mitigate potential hazards. 2. Transmission. Challenge. The fragmented geography and aging infrastructure lead to transmission losses and reliability issues. Solution Investing in modernizing the transmission network and improving interconnectivity between island grids can reduce losses and enhance reliability. Safety and property protection Upgrading transmission infrastructure to withstand natural disasters and implementing advanced monitoring systems can prevent failures and protect property. Ensuring that transmission lines are properly insulated and maintained can also reduce the risk of accidents. 3. Distribution. Challenge. High distribution losses and inadequate infrastructure in rural areas hinder electricity access. Solution. Strengthening the capacity of electric cooperatives and providing financial and technical support for infrastructure development can improve distribution efficiency. Safety and property protection. Ensuring that distribution networks are designed and maintained to meet safety standards is essential. This includes using high-quality materials, implementing regular inspections, and providing training for personnel on safety protocols. 4. Utilization. Challenge. High electricity prices and limited access to electricity in remote areas affect consumers' ability to utilize electricity effectively. Solution. Implementing targeted subsidies and promoting energy efficiency measures can make electricity more affordable and accessible. Safety and property protection, educating end users on safe electricity usage and providing access to safety devices such as circuit breakers and surge protectors can prevent accidents and protect property. Encouraging the use of energy efficient appliances can also reduce the risk of electrical fires. That is all for the part one of this presentation. Thank you so much for watching and learning something about the electricity sector of the Philippines. Please watch again for the part 2 of this video to complete the subject matter. And again thank you so much and God bless us all.